How are you salty sea dogs? If we all know it's Lubu, and today we'll be doing a bruschetta. So, we're going to be doing Gangplank's Scurvy Bustling Bruschetta, uh, which is something I've kind of come up with. It's an orange based bruschetta. It's got some nice uh, spi spicy uh, jalapenos, the shimano pepper, uh, some Vidalia onion for a little sweetness, uh, rosemary, uh, some cloves, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil, and it's going to be delicious and you're going to love it. So, uh, we've got all our vegetables out. I got some French bread that's already uh, going to be cooking over there on the grill. I'm going to take my tomato. And I'm going to want to slice my tomato up in some nice chunks. And always be careful when you're using a knife. Because just like the Leaf of Legends characters, you don't want to cut yourself. Start bleeding all over the place. Have Warwick come after you. We've got some tomatoes there. Some nice big healthy chunks. That vitamin C is nothing but good for you. That nice juice, good smell. No, no notes in there. Get some tomato out. One of the big things about this is that it's a very healthy option. Uh, you got lycopene, you got vitamin C, you got just basically a lot of fruits and a lot of vegetables there. Not a lot going on that you're not going to really enjoy. It's going to be very good appetizer or just a light snack. And it's pretty easy to make because there ain't a whole lot of cooking to it. It's really just cutting up fruits and veggies, putting them on some bread, cooking that bread up. Of course, tomato is going to be the base of the bruschetta. And I don't spend a lot of time doing stuff like showing you how to cook bread. I don't want to insult your intelligence, and I want to keep the video short and sweet so that you really just get the ingredients, how you put them together, and that way, you know, you can do this at home. Maybe your mom and dad can buy you the ingredients. I don't know how old you guys are, and you can just do it for yourself. Just cut some onions up here. And these are the sweet Vidalia onions. They're going to complement the citrus flavors a little better in my opinion than the white onion. I feel like they're going to be less invasive so they don't just kind of overwhelm all the different flavors. And I like big chunks of fruits and vegetables. I like big chunks of vegetables in my bruschetta and in my meals. peppers here. Got these delicious green jalapeno peppers fresh on the market. A nice red pepper here. And that's really just going to look beautiful. Uh, and it's going to taste awesome. Make sure that you don't touch your eyes or face if you're handling peppers. Or wear gloves uh, because the capsaicin of the peppers can get in your eyes. Uh, it's going to get on your skin and you don't want that anywhere near your face. I assure you. Jalapenos going in here. These are nice, crisp jalapenos. Just went and bought them. This is going to be awesome. Ooh, you can smell them if you guys were in here. You can smell how flippin' delicious this all is going to be. Get 
that's what's great about doing all these videos in one take is if I forget to do something, now I've got to do it on the tape. Found it. Just a little bit of balsamic vinegar. That's going to go a long way. Yes. And I put them all in this nice little handy dandy bowl. I got a lid for them. Got the top of it. Pick that up nicely. Take Scurvy. Mm. That's what's up.